Hello my friends, today is something useful I want to show you. So I got this um, uh, smoke detectors to replace my older smoke, detect small smoke detectors. As you see in my previous video, I mentioned that some of the smoke detectors I have are ionization type and they were em emitting some chirping noises. So two out of three were doing that and I decided to replace them so I need two more smoke uh, detectors but I think right now no one sells radi ionization or radiation based smoke detectors anymore and now we have something else so we're gonna take a look at those and to see how they operate also to see what's inside let's get to it all right, uh, obviously it's a shitload of uh, packaging material here and uh, I don't know what's the best way of opening this on camera, like I guess, yeah, I do my usual way, just cutting like this in the per on the perimeter. So those are usually sold in Costco, my favorite store of all times, just kidding. And. Uh, Uh, I want to do it gently, not to damage anything, not to cut and sh myself first and then the product I'm opening here. Uh, and then we just do this. Here we are, we got one. One is good. I'll take one battery. Wow. And the manual. There is no one to see a manual, usually I don't because because i want to see how user friendly is this stuff da, da, da. looks like it's fairly comprehensive okay well whatever okay here we are we have a smoke detector so it consists of some plastic thingy which we don't need have light so test button and hush button i guess that's to make it silent so here we have this is the front there is probably a little uh loudspeaker or just buzzer loud buzzer very loud supposed to be and there is a back plate and back plate is like that it's very actually a nice back plate without it's very very easy to actually put it on and off here's the battery compartment and um, this is what also quite differ from the one I have because the sensors I have oh two batteries per one that's interesting okay so th this is probably because they have the um, LEDs like this over here all right okay well that's fair two batteries be easier probably no no oh my god to put this all back in together it's be like pain in the ass anyways i don't want to fiddle with that okay <clears throat> you know what guys i stand to be corrected this one is radiation as well so it has 0.9 microcuries of americium 241 radioactive material that's quite interesting because I thought they not doing this anymore and for whatever reason and replaced uh, stuff by optical smoke detectors. Well, you live, you learn. That's pretty cool. Let's see how this ionization detector looks like in comparison to one I have. Uh, you, sorry, to, in comparison to one I reviewed before. Single station smoke alarm. See, we have many things in two languages in, in, in Canada. This is because uh, we have two official languages in the country, French and English, or English and French. Uh, yeah, I don't speak French at the moment. I know a little bit. Try to learn as much as possible because I like it. Uh, okay, how to go further? Let me get the screwdriver and start to poke around to see if I can dig a little bit more no, what the hell is this it's some sort of clip but it doesn't help me to unclip would it help they can be smart they can come up with some sort of clips which really really hard to unclip this is probably the case and here we are so you have to like 
Oh my god, this is tricky, but we will Okay, it's uh, it's not that hard. So yeah, it's like some sort of never seen this kind of before clips before ah one is glued over here na, 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 na. under the sticker i thought it's only two but there is a third one that's uh, let's do it like this and lifts ah ah looks like i got okay what else something else okay here we are here we are okay we got inside so first of all we see this pot here which is completely looks like sealed unit and uh, not much you can see through this particular one in comparison to uh, the one i reviewed before this is how you do it like what the hell is this so uh, it's okay but it's kind of funny that they use the, the different colors of wires obviously the positive negative here is orange and green positive negative here is red and black which is kind of common common sense actually it's not black it's really dark green it's um construction is not much more simpler than the other one because still you have um despite the fact you have the battery which would require less of a hustle to you know to rectify uh, ac and blah 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 it's still quite complex i mean there's a whole bunch of analog stuff here but still kind of lots of stuff so i thought it would be simpler because i do believe inside of this can which i try to take a look if i can pull it open or well, I don't want to open it. I mean, the, to see what's inside. Essentially, here we are. We can take this board off. It's, it's the little transistor. Caught the thing. And aha! Uh -huh. So looks like there's some kind of I don't know something potted over here. Actually, hmm. I guess I don't know why it's potted potted it's probably to prevent uh, um, leakage of some sort i don't know or maybe to prevent people of unsoldering this little pot box oh it's wax area it's waxed okay maybe for the electrical insulation but i don't think there is any high voltage over here not supposed to be uh, because yeah i don't see any high voltage elements unless there is a high voltage stuff inside this pot so um yeah uh, the other thing had um, some deep um 14 um uh chip inside but this one doesn't look like i don't know what the hell is this it's two two rows but one row is unless it's uh one two three four five six seven eight it's deep 16 but one leg is lifted ah it's it's kind of sticky stuff <laughs> anyways uh so i don't know uh so this is what we have okay so a whole bunch of components here is the buzzer of course resistor is replaced by uh, jumper unless all jumpers are resistors for here yeah doesn't look like two trainees yeah it's pretty simple schematic i must say um yeah i'd like to see if i would uh, possible like i don't want to trace it but uh, i would like to see if i can find the um, the schematic of this guy because part of the circuit has to be to drive this um loudspeaker and probably like uh, to amplify the sound and generate actually it should be some sort of um uh, uh generator circuit which actually generates some noise and sorry the, the frequency of some sort to to drive this buzzer uh, and a uh, buzzer and uh, probably amplify but I don't know what's inside this can. Maybe this can has some sort of chip or SMD component, which we don't see unless those pins are comp deep component um, uh, contacts, uh, which would have capability of be okay let yeah, you know what at the end of the story but just instead of just guessing, I can just take a look where what goes. Another option, this can I detach it? No, oh, probably glued, which is kind of sucks. 
Yeah. <clears throat> okay, looks like this thing is glued, which which is not it's not cool. I don't like stuff which is glued, and I don't want to take force to it. Uh, so potentially, because you see there are one signal wire and two probably power. Uh, I don't know how this buzzer operates. So it has three three uh, contacts here. So red, black. It doesn't say much over here. So the white goes. Really hard to tell. Actually, believe it or not, that the white one goes straight here. So that's what I, I was afraid. No, 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 afraid. It's one of my thought that the the the, um, the circuit inside this can actually drives this guy, and those two black and red just to power it up. So yeah, I need to take a look what kind of buzzer is this one. But so far, what we see that this circuit is uh, is pretty simple and it has to be pretty simple because not much here is going on and the, and the main meat or main uh, stuff is happening inside this can so let's take a look in, uh, at another feature of this guy is the light so over here we have uh, black and orange coming to this little board which is essentially plastic riveted with those uh, plastic rivets over here and it contains of LED uh, probably current limiting resistor and uh, some sort of uh, regulator yeah that's a very simple schematic over here I'm not sure what this guy is I will google it first so essentially this is LED driver circuit consisting of like a, a voltage regulator, a limiting resistor and that's it. Probably just to lower the voltage down to like, I don't know, 3 volts or something or, or 2 volts for this uh, single single LED. And that's why it, have, it has the... probably this is one of the most integrated parts over here, this regulator, uh, unless there is a cheap job inside this but this can is soldered so i won't be able to open it uh, just like that so instead like it has it so has two pins over here to solder and three uh, uh, tops which probably connected to inside of the um, uh, de ionization detector uh, um, body so yeah uh, i don't yeah i'm probably not gonna take it apart probably not gonna take it apart but so far this is what we have i tried to kind of come up with to see if there is a schematic of this guy just to to see or try to trace some basic stuff and uh, to understand how this circuit operate but i think a lot of meat this mostly like supplementary circuit a lot of important stuff is inside this can um which we, I may sacrifice one of those and okay, take it apart, but I need to have to read out first. So here we are. This is the very first, uh, and, uh, the very brief and first glimpse of inside of sensor. Turned out to be not much of a difference from what I already reviewed. The same ionization type sensor, it has light and because of LED, probably this one runs on two of these batteries. Another thing, it runs on two batteries just because uh, it need, it would stay I, uh, sorry uh, stay off the grid can stay off the grid for quite a uh, longer time never mind what I'm talking about it's not connected it's gonna be um, I'm, I hope it's gonna be operated a bit longer than um, on one battery uh, I'm just also curious if those two batteries are connected in the same circuit or they are actually two separate circuits if they will be together, essentially, why wouldn't you run so many wires, right? You can just put them, um, uh, put them in parallel and like and have nine volts, like twice the capacity, right? But looks like it's not. Um, otherwise, they wouldn't run two sets of wires. Yeah, BT1, BT2, completely separate. Obviously, grounds are connected, but positive, positive not let me just try to kind of analyze here okay i see so bt1 connects to this guy and 
uh, drives probably the let me see what's bt2 going where the another positive uh, so orange over here goes to this resistor okay here we are so this is exactly what's happening so the um, those two the the positive of the battery and uh, positive of the uh, uh, light uh, uh, board over here of this LED unit is connected so essentially the second battery goes completely to the um, just for the powering the LED and here we are this transistor drives uh, drives uh, this particular board so it turns on when there is a, um, a smoke alarm uh, signal on yep smoke smoke is detected so essentially this is this thing on a lit when there is a smoke in just I guess it has some feature this is feature to have a light in case of the emergency or emergency light which is okay which is okay but drive LED with this 9 volt battery nah, I don't know Anyways, uh, this is it for now. Uh, I will gonna post some photos of this board, um, both sides, uh, on my uh, website. But I think unless I have guts to actually completely unsolder this unit and uh, poke around and see what's inside, I will just gonna put it together and put it back on a ceiling. Thank you guys for watching. See you next time. If you like my videos, please like and subscribe not to miss any more of cool content.